Minasan, Akarina Sai. Today I will be covering all three of the Mu subunits, all in one video, since three separate videos would probably be too short. I'll introduce each group, and then when I cover the years that the songs are released, I'll just do all groups together so it's easier to understand. Let's dive in. First up, Printemps, featuring Honaka, Kotori, and Hanyo. Their name is the French way of saying the spring season, which I guess means it's actually pronounced Printemps. My French teacher would be so ashamed that I never realized this, but I'm just gonna keep calling them Printemps. Because of their image, voices, and portrayal, many sweet type names were submitted. I'll get into a little more detail on that later. Their music usually sounds like cheerful, happy, heartfelt stuff. Probably the more standard idol music, but with electric guitar in the background sometimes. Next up is Lily White, having Umi, Nozomi, and Rin. Their name is meant to symbolize the stern and pure feel exhibited by the group members. Their music genre being traditional Japanese Showa era stuff. Some nice chill music, kind of like Ai Ferihata's solo career, if you're familiar but also having some nice slow dance stuff as well. Lastly, my personal favorite, and I think the majority's favorite, Bibi, giving us Ellie, Maki, and Nico. The group's name was meant to show their mature and graceful feel, also to symbolize the sharp style and fashion shown by the members. Their music style being very energetic, fast tempo, club, party music. They're also like kind of hot, you know? Like not necessarily their looks, but the way they're acting. Each group only had about 11 tracks before Muse's disbandment. So let's move on to said songs. In 2011, the leaders of each unit were revealed, those being Honoka, Umi, and Eli. After this, five sets of compositions were revealed, and viewers were asked to vote on which they wanted. One month after this, the units were revealed, then another month later, the names were chosen. Then, of course, each group got their first songs, all releasing, again, a month apart. The first Printemp song is Love Marginal. Bibi's first was Diamond Princess no Yutsu. And Lily White had Shiranai Love, Oshiete Love. And of course, all of these songs were released with a coupling track as well. 2012, at Muse's first Love Live, each unit performed their first singles and their coupling tracks, and then the groups wouldn't have any new music this year. So, 2013, again, only one song along with a coupling track, these being released in the opposite order of the last. Lily White going first, with Binetsu Kara Mystery, BB had Cutie Panther, a personal favorite, then Printemps gave us Pure Girls Project. That's a, a great cover. Not sure if Pure comes to mind, but I dig it. With these girls though, we actually got a bonus song released later in the year, titled Pua Pua O. Oh. And all units would also perform two songs at the Muse New Year's Live. Though Nanja wasn't there due to commitments with her other group, so Ripi and Kusun each performed a song as temporary BB members. 2014, at the end of the year, we got the third singles from all three groups, Printemps' I and Friends, along with another bonus song, Cheer Day, Cheer Girl, Lily White's Aki no Anata no Sorotoku, along with their first bonus track, Onaji Hoshi ga Mitai, and BB's Fuyuga Karate Yokan, though its coupling track Trouble Busters is far superior. Then of course they had a bonus track, Silent Night. Very cute. Actually all of these bonus tracks were released on Christmas Day, though none of them were Christmas themed. But BB and Lily's had a more romantic feel to them, which I guess could relate to the holidays for some. However, sticking with the romance stuff, back to the beginning of the year, around Valentine's Day, Muse had their live Endless Parade my favorite of theirs and one of my favorite concerts overall. Each unit, as always, performed two songs. 2015, let's start off with the concerts. All three units singing at Muse's fifth live, Dream Sensation. I'm sure you can guess how many songs they performed. All units had one new song that was given out from a lottery of people who bought tickets to the School Idol movie. Museum de Do Shitai for Pintemps, Otohime Heart de Love Kyuden for Lily White, and Saitai de Saiko no Paradiso for Bibi. Or maybe it's Paradiso, or like parodies, you know, I'm not going to make that joke. Then the final songs each group released were made for the School Idol Festival mobile game. Those being Wow Wow Powerful Day for Pintemps, Omoide Ijo Ni Nari Taikute for Lily White. Oh, actually, that's it for 2015, as Bibi's song Saikaku Crossroads wouldn't release until very early of 2016 which was the final year for Muse, and by default, the subunits too. Also again, just want to say the coupling track for BB song is far better, that being Psychic Fire. Absolute banger. This being their final year, at their final concert, Music Forever, each unit sang three songs. Hell yeah. So now is usually where I talk about group facts, which I still am, but just know that these facts are strictly for the subunits. When I say a certain person is the oldest or tallest, it's just within the group of three, not Muse as a whole. Then I will go into their animated lore as well, and I'll give you three song recommendations for each group. Instead of repeating myself for each group, I'll just say now that within the units themselves, none of the girls are the same age, in the same agency, or from the same hometown. Now as always, we'll start off with Printemps. The eldest sister is Emmy, who is also the shortest. 
while Shika is the youngest and the tallest. Coincidentally, it's the same with the animated girls as well. Well, for the ages at least, with Honoka being the eldest and Hanayo being the youngest. Though this time Hanayo is the shortest, while Kotari is the tallest. Other highlighted group names for them are Pure Candy and Sugar Pieces. I kind of like that first one. Three songs that you should try out are Cheer Day, Cheer Girl, No Exit Orion, and Love Marginal. Let's get a couple facts about the animated girls now. Honoka's practice shirt has the kanji Ho, which is the first syllable of her name, something other characters in later groups would also have. Though her image color is orange, her outfits are usually in pink. Honoka is actually Chika's favorite member of Muse, Chika also being a leader of the second generation of Love Live, and Honoka's side ponytail was originally made by Kotori back when they were children. Speaking of, Kotori usually speaks in third person. She is known for always photobombing at one of the corners of the screens, again something other characters would inherit. Another reoccurring theme of hers is a bird emoji, which is also used by her voice actress Uchi in posts whenever she mentions Kotari. Lastly, we got Hanyo, a lot of other Seiyu's favorite character in general. She originally had an older brother, but I guess they cut that out of the story. In the Love Live School Idol Diary, which is a series of novels about the story, it was revealed that her mother was also an idol before quitting to get married. Hanayo is actually Ruby's favorite member of Muse, Ruby also filling the same role as Hanayo in her group as well. And lastly, Hanayo shares the same last name with Moika Koizumi, a seiyu for the third generation of Love Live. Throughout all the seiyu and characters in the franchise, I'm pretty sure this is the only instance of the two sharing a last name. As for two sharing a first name, well, we'll get there in a minute. Next is Lily White, where the oldest sister is Mamori, and the youngest is Ida. Her being the only one in Muse as a whole to be born in the 90s. Momori is also the tallest, while Kusun is the shortest. One of the shortest in not only Muse as a whole, but in the whole franchise. This group is the only Muse subunit to consist of one member from each year. So naturally, Nozomi, the third year, is the oldest, and Rin, the first year, would be the youngest. Rin also being the shortest, but Umi and Nozomi are actually the same height. These girls as a three also have the most number of appearances in the anime, twice in the main series and once in the movie. Other highlighted names for them were Beauties of Nature and Natural Bell. But other names had words like flower, bird, wind, and moon to symbolize them being all majestic and such. Some song recommendations are Ano Ne Gambare, Binetsu Kara Mystery, and Futari Happiness. Honestly, they have a lot of really fun songs. Umi originally had an additional younger brother before it was written off. In the manga, which was released before the anime, both Umi and Honoka were members of the Kendo Club. Would have been cool to see them have a little fun battle in the anime. Rin, unlike the rest of Muse, does not wear a vest in the summer uniform. Just like her senpai Kotari, Rin often refers to herself in the third person. She is also the only character to address Hanayo as Kaiuchin, showing their very close friendship with special nicknames. And her, unlike many others, had a family member that was cut out in pre-production this one being an older sister. In the manga adaptation, Nozomi and Ellie are complete strangers, while in the anime, they're already very close. Also, Nozomi's personality is much more bubbly and energetic compared to her more normal, chill attitude. Nozomi shares a first name with Nozomi Suzuhara, a member of the newest Love Live group, Liela. And lastly for this unit, a bit of a controversy. In 2019, stolen fan art of Nozomi was altered slightly and made into merchandise for American singer Billie Eilish. She was actually unaware of this decision made by the merchandise company until Twitter users exposed the company's art theft. Big yikes. And finally we have Bibi. Nanjo is the oldest and the shortest, while Soamaru is the youngest and the tallest. And because I want to mention Palsama, she is the prettiest. Though that is subjective, but I am subjectively correct. As for the animated Bibi, Nico is the oldest and shortest, the complete opposite of her seiyu. Namaki is obviously the youngest being the first year, and Ellie is the tallest. BB's trademark introduction at live concerts involves them shouting BB multiple times, with the audience repeating it back to them with the same beat. It also involves Sora having way too much fun with this chant while the other two try not to laugh. Due to Maki, Ellie, and Nico all being individually popular, as well as the Nico Maki pairing being extremely popular, BB has always been the most popular subunit with single sales above the other two units. Their music style also probably plays a big part in this too. In the anime, all three members were the only ones to be directly invited by Hanukkah to become a member of Muse, while all other members joined by other means. Two of their other suggested group names were Grace Maiden and Shiny Silhouette. Three song recommendations for them are super easy to give. Psychic Fire, Trouble Busters, and Cutie Panther. I'm sure you will love all three of them, at least if you love that fast upbeat genre. Maki, for some reason, is the only one to refer to her fellow group member Nika with honorifics calling her Nico-chan, though that is a very friendly manner. Apparently, she's also watched our real-world Harry Potter movies. Despite being very smart and prestigious, she once had a test score of 68, 
which led to an argument with her father and her almost being forced to leave Muse. And lastly for her, for some unstated reason, Maki's summer uniform's cardigan is not yellow like all the others, but hers is a shade of grey. Sticking with that though, Nico wears a pink cardigan on top of her regular school uniform, being the only Muse member to do so. Apparently she is technically the wrapper of BB, and when the girls listed their three sizes, she predicted that her chest would grow 3 centimeters more. So she wrote 74 centimeters instead of 71. Though they never grew. That's a big F for Nico. And now for the last lady of the video, Ellie. Her early illustrations show her being able to play the guitar, suggesting her potential role as the composer for Muse, a role that Maki would be given in the final version. In the manga, Ellie grew up in Japan rather than in Russia and was already familiar with the second years, especially Honoka. And for two reoccurring themes, Ellie is the favorite member of Daya Kurosawa, a second generation love life character, and they kind of fill the same role within their groups, the stern, serious big sister. Finally, she originally had two younger brothers that were eventually replaced with one little sister, that being Arisa, the same name as Dai's voice actor. Some crazy coincidences in this franchise. And with that, we have reached the ending. Though the full group is technically disbanded, the girls do still appear on live streams from time to time. Maybe one day in the future, we can see a subunit come back as a guest appearance at another group's live show, even just for a single song. I know the crowd would go absolutely nuts. Thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you've enjoyed and learned something new. Please join me in the next one about my favorite Seiyuu unit. I look forward to seeing you there.